hello friends welcome to goya lecture once again today we are going to see one of the most important part of the html that is hypertext markup language frames you must have heard about the frames that uh, people find most uh, horrible to use and uh, most uh, horrible to understand now it i will tell you in a most uh, simple language so today we will see what are frames why we use frame and uh, what are the uses of frame and how can we create frame in our html web page so first of all what is frame so basically the friends uh, that uh, frames are somewhat like dividing a window in different part suppose we have one html document and we want to display more than one document in that uh, html document then we go for the frame then we divide this whole window into different parts and in o in those different parts we display different document and the uses of this frame mostly are in websites and some enterprise portals so without wasting much time let's start uh, some programming so that you will better understand how to use frames and how to create in those html and what are the tags what we require to create and manipulate the frames so let's start i start in the notepad html head title i give frame example i close title and i close head okay now uh, in normal html pages after head the body part comes but whenever we are using frames we don't choose body because it's not having its own body and like i said we display different test html pages in a single page this so we use only f a new tag that is frame set this tag is used when we want our html page to have frames so i close it and html okay now i have defined the frame set tag but i haven't mentioned how i want my page to be divided like horizontally or vertically so frame set tag uses two attributes rows and columns so i show you one by one what's the use of these attributes rows suppose i want to divide this uh, my window in 20 into that 1 is to 4 ratio 20 into 80 so now i am having two frame first is having 20 percentage width uh, and second is having 80 percent width so now it's our turn what document we want to display in our those two frames so here is one more tag for you src and it's uh, the address of the document document one say dot html close it now like i said there are two frames 20% and 80% portion so for second frame also we have to define the source frame src is equal to qmant to dot html okay got it so now i'm going to save this document what we just created now i have created one folder on the desktop that is frame so i am saving this with the name frame example dot html and i am making save as a type all so he oh sorry in frames i am saving it with this name frame example so if we see here our document is ready frame example i have given i mean two addresses document 1.html and document 2.html these are present there i already created this document to save our time so i show you the recording this is document 1 is a simple document uh, just forget about this commented area i will talk about this later in the same lecture okay body bg color is equal to that so the i introduce you to a new attribute of body that is bg color i have given this red that is background color 
okay and now in h1 heading i have given this is document one okay and there is one more new tag mark query which introduces motion to the html documents okay fine i hope you are following me so this was uh, it's a simple document see uh, this is document one simple heading and busy color red just forget about mark query and all these things and similarly we i show you that uh, document two uh, like title document two and this is document to market to introduce the motion so now we can execute our program see uh, that window has been divided into two parts the first part which uh, 20% of the window and the second part 80% of the window the first part is having a different document document one dot html what we created and the second part is having different document document two dot html okay. so let's see now you got this one now uh, we are going to see how to divide into that uh, horizontally suppose I horizontally we can divide by rows attribute 50 percent 50 percent so what I did uh, first I divided into two parts 20 80 and now then horizontally 50 50 so now our window is having four frames okay uh, I don't know how it could move so uh, now it, our window is having four frames so let's see now I refresh it see it has been divided into four frames one two three four but uh, we are seeing documents only in two frames this one first one and the second one but not the third one and the fourth one uh, don't worry because we haven't sp specified here for the third and fourth frame the source so i'm specifying here so for the third and fourth frames uh, i have created one page green page HTML and for the fourth frame oh, oh okay so now I'm doing control s now I execute I um, mean that refresh this page you see this is green color page this is brown color page let's let me show you the coding of those two pages green page and the brown page so in brown page contain nothing just bg color brown this is brown color page similarly with the green color page do you see that so this is just a simple document okay so now what I want to do is I don't want to divide this uh, first frame horizontally I just want to divide the second frame only so that we are having three frames first one this one total second and the third okay so what I will do so now uh, uh, let's see so this row attribute is dividing the our window into two parts into two frames first frame I give like document one now we have second frame to which we want to divide into two parts so similarly we will use that frame set tag frame set I close it so in this I have to define how I want to divide the second frame calls 50% 50% ok so we haven't specified source for the second frame instead of doing that we divided the second frame into two frames now we have to specify the source for these two frames frame sr is equal to i give like uh, green page dot html i'm just uh, giving that uh, 
relative address of this page if these pages are ha residing in somewhere else I mean some other folder then you have to give the full address and similarly for the second part brown page okay so do control s and now just refresh this okay some brown i gave some spelling wrong so basically uh, okay i will correct that so you saw that uh, first i divided the window into two parts horizontally first this part and the second this part of and the second part I again divided into two per third and fourth frame these are used in the website where this is header and these are different portion of the page okay so now what, what I want to do like I was talking about to you in website we generally see there are two portion in some website left part contains some blink which opens in the right part so first uh, what I will do I will create uh, two frames and in the left frame I will have some link and when I will click on those links those links will open in the right part okay so like uh, we did before src is equal to document one dot HTML similarly for the second frame src is equal to man 2 dot html okay so i was talking about you that uh, when i click on the link on the f uh, present in that uh, document one then it should open in the second part so this frame should have some name so that we can target uh, the links into this frame so i'm giving its name right frame any name you can give okay I'm doing control s so just to show you I am doing this oh, this is divided uh, horizontally so let's divide vertically okay fine so now uh, the com role comes for the commented part so in this uh, which is being loaded in the left frame this one is having this part so basically here I have created th three links first link is home like I said home it opens I mean it goes to the default document uh, which is being loaded in the second frame now we have one more link green and one more brown which are different green and brown pages I show you their coding that's uh, not a very hard coding in that green and brown page just a bg color brown this is brown color page that's it and similarly for the green page bg color green and this is green color page okay so that uh, document one is having three links home green brown and uh, which are targeted to the right frame okay so i uncommented it and i just refresh this page oops it's not getting i think i didn't do control s for this page just close that now the links are coming okay so when you click on green right side that right hand side frame should have that green color page document and then when you click on brown that changes okay when you click on home the default uh, this document to page should be shown okay so that's it for today today we saw the uses of frame what are the frame set tag what are the frame tag how can we divide the frame into different parts how can we load from one link to the one link of frame to the into the second frame uh, that was an interesting lecture i hope you really enjoyed that and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos youtube.com Goyal lectures. 
so have a good day friends see you in the next lecture till then bye bye take care